So, okay, next, Nova Seed, man. Hi, DCC. What is a good strategy in the bull market um, without exiting crypto in general to move to stable coins and stake it? Thanks. Love your show, by the way. Um, in terms of a good extra strategy for the bull run, he means basically like I sell crypto and then I just what instead of going to my bank account, what like it would be, it'd basically be stable coins effectively, but mm. um, for a good portion of it, it's just then once we kind of start really bottoming out, you want to start laddering that back into crypto. Right. Be careful staking your your uh, your stables. I mean, a lot of people do do stable staking and stuff on stuff like Cur <laughs> Curve Convex. Uh, you know? The last bear market didn't turn out very well for well, on on like some of yeah. the ETH DeFi, it was okay, but on Luna DeFi, <laughs> that one didn't turn out so hot. To so right, people chasing the twenty percent yields and stuff like that. So right, um, well, I forgot the name of the project, but it was yeah, yeah, it's uh, it was a stable coin. Yeah, the US the UST. Well, US it was it was in addition to UST. It was like staking UST, and you got something else as a reward as that twenty percent. I forgot what it was called, but anyways, it was yeah, like, yeah. I think no, no, I think it was UST paid in UST. I think it was <coughs> if, I, if, if, if I remember and stuff like. That. It's been a while, you guys. Anyway, well, Doug Khan got four months in prison today, so. <laughs> and that wasn't U.S. prison. That was um, what Montenegro. Country? Montenegro, yeah. probably worse. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of what's going on. So yeah, you ladder out into stable. So I'm, and also what it means is like uh, probably so. Obviously, he wants to have the capital that ready. So if you could stable swap, but the thing is, is a lot of the yield you could earn, like unless you actually cash out quite a lot of millions and stuff, like it's probably not really worth to be you know yielding on your stables too much, unless it's like you know what you're doing or you're 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 more on the risk curve and you're willing to just yield farm this and dump and then get out and stuff. There's a lot of liquidity vampire stuff, but mm. well, definitely um, that's kind of the strategy basically. But let's keep going. Uh, but Okay, uh, Belio, is it a good idea to take your loan out on your 401k plan and paybacks and slowing and then putting that money back into crypto now? <laughs> mm, interesting question. Interesting question. Let's see, how do I... Not financial mm -hmm. advice, but obviously you shouldn't... <laughs> should I, yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. Right. I'll wait to say my piece. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst time in the world. Thank God you're not saying this two years from now or a year from now. That's I'll be like, bro, we're like, we're like two years ago. Yeah, or like it's it's like, hey, bro, like it's like, Miguel, you, know, you think it's a good time for me to just like just borrow on my all my four hundred one k when Bitcoin's above a hundred thousand dollars? No, right? <laughs> to have a hope not, right? But it's, so it's not the worst time in the world. But at the same time, too, you you have to be careful when you're taking that kind of leverage and stuff. It's the same thing people always ask us: Can I borrow? Should I borrow money? Should I do this and this? Yeah. You well, know? well, like borrowing yeah. is a lot less. Uh, a lot worse than um, just, you know, selling and going into something else. Like with, you know, let's say, for example, the question was instead of 401k, you know, I got a bunch of precious metals in silver and uh, gold or whatever. Right. Should I sell that and, and get some, buy some Bitcoin Ethereum? The answer would be hell yeah. And then you don't have to leverage anything. You just, you know, basically take one asset that is performing nah, and then you're going to the, one of the best performing assets in, in the world, right? So that would be great, but you, obviously you get penalized for taking out early on your 401k and all that shit. So um, personally, I would say no, right? Yeah. Don't, don't leverage it. But if you're going to leverage it, <laughs> right, do so very, you know, at a very uh, good pain point in the market. And it has to be when Bitcoin's under 30,000 for sure at some point. Yeah. But... Um, do do remember right like um, who in terms of in this last bear market got hit the worst on leverage three arrows capital obviously Luna in a slightly different way but in terms of in this sense it was more um, you know L made a capital type uh, and uh, three arrows capital type right so people who thought they were safe you know to take out leverage um, and that Bitcoin wouldn't go low enough essentially to hit the areas of price it needs to to liquidate them they'd be like yeah this won't get liquidated we're in a super cycle you know yeah. uh, a year later they're freaking screwed right so um you just have to be really really careful with that but hey you know uh yeah that's as much information as you can use to make your own decision right yeah there. i'd rather sell a car or just something that, that i won't own any debt on or anything like that if it's just like all right this is like right. dormant capital or like all right i got a rolex let me just sell a rolex off or just something like right. that then you do do that first before you start thinking like let me drain the piggy bank or the here. kidneys or, <laughs> <laughs> to get more than 50k uh, anyway uh, i mean I, I did a really funny video it was like do you know what it costs to sell like an, a kidney on the black market how much it's a quarter million dollars right do you know how much it takes to get into a million dollar property? 
two hundred thousand dollars. So, <laughs> so what you're telling me is, and then they got the fucking inspirational, dumb music in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good one because it was like yeah. went from like being serious to obviously yeah, a joke, you know, a, a joke, parody, right? Yeah. yeah. So those are like my favorite memes now. That like these like sh- like because people have legitimately made those actual claims. Like, yeah. Yeah. And now people are just making fun of it now. But I mean, it's pretty crazy. So um, yeah, don't sell your kidney. So, <laughs> So uh, there's there's definitely that now, but if you are going to do something like if you're going to take leverage and stuff, mostly buy the two big assets. Mm. But Miguel, I want this to ape into Pulse Chain and all this other stuff. That's fine, but you sh- you've got to backstop that either into some stables or a majority because like people always the, the problem is that people get it's like not not the sometimes people borrow at the right time but then they put it into stupid assets or at the wrong time or it, like or or like they're just they're all shit coins and obviously you guys know you guys are pretty like you, like anyone who's watching this show or me or charlie's shows and stuff is already kind of like not in that whole pleb zone and mm. stuff but and, and misinformed but there is a lot of people who like take that shot because they're listening to one influencer and, and they show one token all the time and then they ape it all into that thing and then when it goes bad they lost the 401k. They got. They lost all the money in there. They lost all the DCA money, and then they're just completely wrecked. All their Ethereum, everything gone. Yep. If at least half the money goes into Ethereum, a quarter, a quarter goes into stables, and then maybe you're taking shots into some some altcoins. Fine, but that way, if you mess up, you still have this huge sack right here. And on top of that, if Ethereum and Bitcoin move over the next year to double in price, especially Ethereum is it'd be easier for a double. In price, twenty seven thousand top bull next bull market. Yeah, something. Something. I mean, it's yeah. That's all. Like, hey, it's possible. I'm not saying it's going to happen. I'm just saying it's it's definitely possible if yeah. the market gets to a nine trillion market cap. Right. So even if they're all they hit is eight thousand, or maybe hits fourteen, or it goes to twenty seven thousand. Right. That range there. Right. You've now increased your dollar because you borrowed dollars. You didn't borrow crypto. You borrowed dollars. Then you could pay all that stuff back. And then that's the important thing. If you take this dumb leverage, pay it back. Don't like we and quick because and, yeah. the financial industry is all about speed, right? right. Once you have information, you gotta like boom, be ready right. to basically sell or buy, right? So, as soon as you're ready, right, you just gotta make the decision and gotta do it, right? But there's a lot of people essentially who will dilly dally, they'll think about it so much and they're overanalyze and then they just you know miss everything, and then they get screwed. 